organization is something of a legend. Long ago, the king of a knightly order took up the spirit sword to confront the wielder of the cursed sword. Lurking in history's shadows, the secret society has persisted through the ages. Their mission has been to find the lost spirit sword and bestow it upon their future king while preventing those that they called outsiders from wreaking havoc upon the world. Gro, a young man blessed with a cool head and magnificent fighting skills, became leader of the organization's punitive force. They sent him on a mission to hunt down and kill the Reeker of Chaos, the Azure Knight. However, his entire force was destroyed, and he was dealt a nearly mortal wound. Am I... dead? Kill... kill... kill anyone still alive. My soul... it is being taken over! by an evil force. There is no use in letting him live as a hideous monster. Perhaps I could kill two birds by having him fight that outsider I already experimented on. He's being held around front. You've done well to return to your senses. Dear Gro, you fascinate me! I was battling the Azure Knight. And you failed. Without my aid, you would be dead now. What of the Azure Knight? I could not defeat him. It took my all simply to bring you back with me. He's a malevolent king and wields the cursed sword. It would not have ended well for me. Blast! Could we assemble a new punitive force? You wish to challenge him again? So loyal to the organization and the cause! The extermination of outsiders indeed! Sacrificing everything, even your life, to achieve the organization's objective! Is it because of the hatred you bear for the outsiders? Those fiends who took your family, friends, and home? They are evil. All outsiders must perish. The deaths of my brothers shall not be in vain. Of course! How could it be otherwise? That's who you are! And so you must be cursed by fate! Oh, the tragedy! The drama is palpable! What do you mean? 
My arm! Have you not realized what has become of you yet? No, it cannot be. It can and it is. Your body is now partly infected by the power of the outsiders you so despise. But tell me, how does it feel having within you the very same power that robbed you of all you hold dear? Me, an outsider? Such despair, yet such hatred too. But fear not. If you had lost your senses and been consumed by the monster within, I'd have disposed of you. But that did not happen. You are not the fiend you think you are. You are still human. For now. <sighs> you wish to die though your life was saved? Well, that certainly aligns with the organization's belief of eradicating outsiders, those who've rejected humanity, and as such, you should die. But why not see this as an opportunity? The great power you've gained will aid your mission to fulfill that belief. You think I should use this power? Though it is a sin even for me to be alive? What foolishness. Such an act would betray the very organization I serve. But you could use that power to give you the strength you need to defeat the Azure Knight. Is that not so? What is this? A gift. When mending your armor, I modified it to help suppress the evil within you. It should ease your burden at least a little. Of course, in the end, what you decide to do is up to you. But fear not. I shall not report anything to the organization. You have done too much for me. Not at all. I love humans, especially ones such as yourself who are tossed about by emotion and reason. alive. Curtis, what do you want? How can you be so cold to a friend coming to check on your well-being? It hardly seems someone in your position would come simply for that. Though I number among the Twelve, the organization's supreme decision-making body, I can still make time to visit an old friend. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> your impatience is unbecoming. Still, you're as shrewd as ever. I have a new mission for you. To defeat the Azure Knight? Unfortunately, a different one of the Twelve is in charge of that particular matter. Even you, the strongest of the Twelve, were unable to defeat the Azure Knight. We need to try other means than brute force. Since I failed my mission, I assume my seat was forfeit. While some among the Twelve wish it to be so, this mission is designed to convince them otherwise. In other words, this is a chance to rise from the ashes. I shall accompany you as an observer. Any mission to subdue outsiders, I shall do. I care not for my seat in the Twelve. Come now. I wish to lead you together with the organization. It's a selfish wish, admittedly. But you must assist me. Stubborn as ever. Well, some have always been too stubborn to respond to anything but greater stubbornness. Do as you please. That I shall. And accordingly, before I reveal more of the mission, I want to make sure you have not gone soft. Let us step outside. Mercy! Ah! 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 
Careful now. I see your time in recovery did not rid you of your mercilessness. Do you wish me dead? Forgive me. That voice. It is the same evil voice from before. My fate is sealed. Fear not. You are not back to your formal self yet. How is the wound from the Azure Knight? Though not fully healed, it will not interfere with my mission. Is that so? Always trying to put on a brave front. Well, I concede defeat. Your wound must not be so serious after all. Are you done? Yes. Sorry it took so long. And what is the Intelligence Chief doing here? I would expect you to have better things to do as one of the Twelve. Grow. Do not speak to our Master in such a tone. No matter. It is true I am free enough to see my two pupils. Moreover, I have information about the mission. Then say what you have to say, and be quick about it. Very well, I shall be brief. We have located a branch of the ancient outsider group, Fiegel Sestimus. Grow, you will initiate a surprise attack, and destroy the outsiders quickly. That is all. Understood. No mission I have ever accompanied you on goes smoothly. Indeed, the trouble you find yourself in goes beyond bad luck. Hopefully, this time will be different. can't escape me! In a matter of days, there have been floods, landslides, earthquakes, forest fires, and now merchants assailed by bandits. It's a perfect storm of trouble. You really were born under an unlucky star. What should we do? We're on a mission. Should we simply move on? Scum who prey on the weak are simply that. But they are not mindless outsiders. They're beyond our jurisdiction. Still, I assume no matter what I say, you will still try to help, no? If so, let us make it quick. You wish to use me as an excuse? How unfair. Thank you so much for your help. Take this as thanks. We need no thanks. Just go. C certainly We have wasted enough time. Let us move on. Wait. Before we proceed, I must clear something up. What is it? When I fought you, something bothered me. 
and seeing you fight those bandits confirmed my suspicions. Your arm. What are you hiding? I heard that Aswell saved you. What did he do to you? He simply healed my arm. You know how skilled he is with such things. Indeed. However, is there not more to it than that? You're either trying to protect your arm, or you fear something about it. Aswell created that armor too, did he not? He did. It is simply that my arm still hurts from the Azure Knight. There is nothing to fear. This is my opinion and nothing more. But I can tell you, because I trust you. Aswell is as qualified to number among the Twelve as you and I, but he is dangerous. Joining the Twelve requires the approval of more than half its members. You and I were both recommended by the Masters before being approved. It was the same with Aswell, but he has no loyalty to the organization. Of course, the organization has its factions. There are radicals such as you who wish to exterminate outsiders above all else. And there is the Old Guard who consider coexistence an option. Still, all are loyal to the organization. All except Aswell. He acts with his own motives, and I believe it is only a matter of time before he revolts. Knowing him, it is certainly possible. Aswell seems to have taken an interest in you. If he is using you to fulfill some purpose, he could have done something to your arm. Indeed. Even if that is so, what reason would there be to give me such abominable power? Do not worry yourself. I have no recollection of him doing anything untoward. My wound simply hurts. Is that the absolute truth? Ever have you been cursed with bad luck and the propensity to get mixed up in trouble? I am concerned. That is all. Do not be. It is the truth. I see. Then I am relieved. Intelligence was right. Souls are being sacrificed to obtain the power of an evil god. These fiends have lost their humanity and become outsiders. Who the hell are you? You dare to interfere with Kunpeku's plans? I waste not my breath on outsiders. Die. No! Bring out the knight! Hurry! What? Ultimate creation, an undead soldier born of necromancy. It took countless sacrifices, but the Soul Edge Fragment finally granted us success! Soul Edge Fragment? The Cursed Sword?
Well, they certainly kept this ace up their sleeve. How much bad luck can one person have? So the fragment grants enormous power. The priest has it. <laughs> Your efforts are in vain. This is no mere fragment of steel. Even if you take it from me, you cannot destroy it. Our undead soldier shall hunt you down and slay you wherever you may be. Unleash your power. Kill those who defy you. Claim their souls. The evil power they wield lies in my arm, too. If I unleashed it, I should be able to defeat that creature. But then Curtis would learn the truth. Grow! Get your head out of the clouds! No! Curtis! Sorry you had to do that. It is but a scratch. I'm fine. And I was to be but an observer. I need not hesitate. Without power, all is lost. The weak cannot protect anything. They are but rabbits to a tiger. Enough! You outsiders shall no longer do as you please. I shall do what I must to protect, to live. I shall harness this power to its fullest! Oh, beautiful creation! Die, outsiders! That appears to be the last of them. But this is not the end, is it? I suspected something all along, but when I pressed you, you tried to reassure me all was well. And I was in denial. 
I prayed it was not so. Answer me. Is this Aswell's doing? I know not. But he told me that I was cursed the moment the Azure Knight wounded me. A dark power seethes deep down inside me, making me crave flesh and blood. If I lose control, it will consume me. Without your power, we would have been done for. Some within the organization would recognize the value in having someone with the power of the enemy. However, to me, your power is that of the Cursed Sword. The organization must not allow it. But with this power, we could eradicate more outsiders than ever. You truly believe you can remain in the organization? It is the most efficient means of exterminating outsiders. No question. I see. In that case, you leave me no choice. Have at you! This place shall be your grave! Why do you not kill me? I never intended to do such a thing. Do you really expect me to accept you in that power? It would be a betrayal of our organization. I know. Once all outsiders are eliminated, I shall end my life to pay for my sins. That is why I need you to watch over me. <sighs> I should have expected as much from someone so unlucky. Your troubles know no bounds. Very well, you win. However, we are both betraying the organization now. When you pay for your sins, I shall too. You need not accompany me. Enough. Now, about that fragment of the Wicked Sword, you... A throwing knife? Who did this? Tut tut grow. All witnesses must be disposed of. Even if that witness is an old friend alongside whom you have fought so gallantly. As well! I shall be taking this fragment. Neither of you know its value. Damn you! <laughs> See this fragment? This is how you use it! What? what are you doing, Curtis? Let us see what happens when a fragment of the Cursed Sword is embedded within an able, ranking member of the Aval Organization! Such an intellectually stimulating subject, don't you think? I will not allow this! Huh? As a researcher, I couldn't possibly stand a chance against one from the punitive force. Or so you thought. 
However, by harnessing the energy from the cursed and spirit swords fitted into this glove, I am able to battle you both! Incidentally, it was I who manipulated the resonating wave energy to create that throwing blade. No! How could this be, Curtis? The corruption has begun. The stage is set for more of your sublime drama. Now, my dear Gro, what will you do? Your beloved friend is turning into a loathsome outsider. <coughs> Gro! <coughs> Hesitate not! <coughs> <coughs> Damn you! You're on your own. Don't you worry. All will be fine. All will be fine? You really are a simple man, Gro. Thank you for all you have done for me. I shall take care of the rest. Yes, I believe you can. Oh, dear me. Another precious life lost. But a monster that has lost all reason has no worth! <sighs> oh my, what a wonderful expression! The struggle between sorrow and hatred is simply sublime! 
Now, let that sorrow and hatred fill your heart! Come at me! I shall kill you! Driven by hatred and sorrow, you could resist your destructive impulses. Such a magnificent sight to see. However, I am spent. I could not possibly take any more of this drama. A serious wound would spoil the fun of leaving the organization. What do you mean, the fun? Pursue me. Allow the desire for revenge to permeate your being, but do not lose your senses. I have been moved by your story, and shall never forget it. An earthquake? No, this must be. This place will soon be reduced to rubble. Perhaps we will meet again, should you live. I would like that. Farewell! Wait! Damn these infernal fiends! Gro managed to escape from the crumbling temple, but his friend's corpse was lost in the rubble, never to be found. Gro returned to the organization to report everything that had transpired with Aswell. Waiting for him was the news of Orzel's death upon Aswell's defection, as well as a new mission. Aswell had double-crossed the organization in the hope of unleashing the evil seed again to save humanity. Or so he claimed. Gro's new mission was to kill the outsider Aswell before that could happen. I shall never forgive you. Your intentions matter not. You took my friend from me. Mark my words. You shall pay.
The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.